Good morning, Hampton Economy Sharks. I'm Victor Kohlberg. And I'm Anthony Enos. Today is Friday, September 23rd, 2022. Today is a B-Day. This week, we are featuring an interview with Mr. Hawkins. An interview with a new staff member. A segment on the field hockey team. And student opinions about fall. Library hours starting next week on Tuesday and Thursday mornings. The library will be open for students starting at 7.20. If you would like to come to the library before school, you must sign in and grab a pass from the student foyer. Once you've signed in, you can come directly to the library. Reading challenge update. Students that completed the summer reading challenge and handed in book logs should be on the lookout for an email from Miss Saunders. Thank you to everyone who participated. Environmental school paperwork has been sent home. Please make sure to look it over carefully. This announcement goes out to 8th grade students. The Quebec parent student meeting will be at 6 p.m. in the cafeteria on Wednesday, September 28th, and the Puerto Rico meeting at 6.45, Wednesday, September 28th. The 6th grade first aid kit fundraiser started last week. Students will sell first aid kits and it will help reduce their individual costs to the environmental school trip. The first aid kits range from a simple car and sports kit for $16 all the way to an ultimate survival kit for $120. See a sixth grader or Miss Muncy for details. The first aid kit fundraisers are due October 3rd if you are interested. See a sixth grader for help. Do you like pizza? Come to the community oven on Monday, September 26th. The community oven <laughs> will, will be generously donating a portion of their pizza sales to the sixth grade environmental school trip. Take out and dine in. The Ski Club Parent Informational Meeting will be held on Tuesday, October 4th at 6 p.m. in the Hampton Academy Dining Hall. A Pat's Peak representative will be here to speak about the program. You will have an opportunity to sign up for Ski Club online at that time. Mrs. Dutton's math class is looking a little different this year for some. We had the opportunity to talk with some of Mrs. Dutton's students. Take a look of what they said. Good morning. I'm here with Reese and Colin. Colin, can you tell me about using the vertical whiteboards in math? Um, yeah, so... Um, in the morning, we get uh, these cards where there's, like, different objects and stuff on it. And you go to, like, the group with the vertical whiteboards, and we just do the math for the day on the vertical whiteboards. And Reese, how do you feel about this new strategy of learning math concepts? I really like it because it wakes me up because I have to stand the whole time, and you can, like, talk to your groups even more and other tables sometimes. Thank you for being on Track News. Recently, Mrs. Duffy's social studies classes visited the Hampton Academy Library to see the interactive elevation map sand table. Xavier had the opportunity to speak with some of the students while they were there. Take a look. Good morning, Hampton Academy Sharks. I'm here in the library with Mrs. Duffy's social studies class and some of her students. Good morning, Charlie. Finn and Camden. Good morning. Good morning. Finn, can you tell us a little bit about uh, the new sand table? So, 
the new sand table is really fun because you can build mountains and there's white stuff. So the white stuff is snow, the blue is rain, and how you make the rain is you hold your hand and then the rain will like act like it's falling off your fingertips. And yeah. That's really cool. Charlie, what do you think about the sand table? I love it a lot and that it's really cool. And the first time I walked in, I thought the sand was not there. Yeah, so it's I, like tech, but yeah, it's, re it's really cool. It looks really realistic. And Camden, what have you learned about elevation maps from exploring the sand table? Um, we I learned that the higher up you go, the more colder it is. And, um, well, the, the lower you go, the water kind of rises out of the ground. Great. Thanks for being on Shark News. This week, Luca had a chance to interview a returning staff member. Science teacher Mr. Shaw. Take a look. Good morning, Hampton Academy Sharks. I'm here with our returning science teacher, Mr. Caleb Shaw. Good morning, Mr. Shaw, and welcome back to Hampton Academy. Good morning, Luca. Thanks for having me. So, Mr. Shaw, you worked at Hampton Academy a few years back as a science teacher. Where did you go after that? Well, I ran away for just a couple of years to a small town, Orford, New Hampshire, which is a couple hours north of here. And I worked at Rivendell Academy. It's a 6 through 12 school, uh, a really good school and great communities as well, but pretty different than Hampton. We only had about 30 kids per grade there, um, but I'm really excited to be back here in Hampton now. Where are you looking forward to this year at Hampton Academy? Um, like I said, I'm excited to be back here in Hampton, so I'm most looking forward to reconnecting with both the community and with the students here. And I'm also coaching the boys' soccer team, so I'm really excited that that season is underway. What do you like to do in your spare time? Well, I like to do anything in the outdoors. I particularly like rock climbing. Uh, I like just spending time in the woods and trying not to fall off my mountain bike. Thank you for being on Shark News. And again, welcome to Hampton Academy, Mr. Shaw. Thanks, Luca. Right here. This week, Noah had a chance to interview our school principal. Check it out. I'm here with our school principal, Mr. Hawkins. Good morning, Mr. Hawkins. Good morning, Noah. We're all enjoying being back to school and getting into the swing of the new year. What observations do you have about the opening of the school year? I think the beginning of this school year was like so many others that we've had, but just back to a normal, non-mask, moving from classroom to classroom with all of our friends and feels like school again. What school goals do you have for this year? One of the biggest goals that we have uh, at the middle school this year is uh, advisory, um, getting everybody used to it and getting kids comfortable with getting organized and teachers comfortable with running through advisory. What advice can you give to students so that they will be successful in school? Set small goals. Uh, pick one thing to, to work on at a time and don't try and overwhelm, overwhelm yourself. And uh, yeah, small goals. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Hawkins, and thanks for being in the interview with Chuck News. Thank you very much, Noah. The boys' soccer team has enjoyed a strong start to the season defeating both Sacred Heart and Fremont in their first two games. They will play at New Market this afternoon. This past Tuesday, the field hockey team had a home game against Seabrook. They played 9-on-9 nine nine and it was an even match. The game was close. Seabrook scored in the last second of the game to get the win, 1-0. Our girls played great together. They also played Portsmouth at Portsmouth on Wednesday. And although they lost 3-1, to one, the girls played incredibly hard are progressing especially well. Goalie Vanessa Cronin had 50 saves, though, though and Coletta Roy saved the scored the team's only goal. Shark News was at the game and had an opportunity to interview some of the players. We also got some videos of the game. Take a look. Hi, my name is Kelly. I'm part of the field hockey team, and one of our strengths as a team is defense. And we're really good at defense because we pass to each other a lot. Hi, I'm Jocelyn, and my favorite thing about being on the field hockey team is being able to bond with my team. 
Hi, I'm Vanessa. I'm the goalie on the field hockey team, and we play about 15 games throughout the year. We're still taking new members, so come see one of the members of the field hockey team to join. Or come watch us! Bye. Aggressive! B-E! Aggressive! B-E! Aggressive! B-E! Aggressive! B-E! Now that it is fall, we asked a few students what are they looking for to this season. Take a look. Hello, I'm here with Taylor, Evan, Finn, and today is the first day of fall. So what's your favorite thing about fall? Probably playing sting soccer with all my friends. Probably starting up Seacoast for the first time. Jumping in the leaf pile. Warm apple cider with a nice good donut. That's my favorite. All right. Good morning, Hampton Academy Sharks. I'm here at the seventh grade lunch. Fall is just around the corner, and I'm asking students their opinion on what they like about the season. David, what are you most excited for this fall? I'm most excited for Halloween. I love trick-or-treating, too. Lucas, what are you look forward to this fall? This fall, I'm looking forward to my birthday and also trick-or-treating. Thank you guys for being on Shark News. Now I'm here with Emily and Kelly. Emily, what are you looking forward to this coming season? I'm looking forward to cross-country meets and Halloween. Yeah, Halloween seems to be pretty popular today. What about you, Kelly? I'm looking to forward to field hockey games and Thanksgiving. Thank you guys for being on Shark News. My name is Skylar, and I'm, I'm excited for pumpkin spice foam at Starbucks. My name is Julia, and I'm looking forward to cider donuts. My name is Vanessa, and I'm looking forward to the fall weather. <laughs> My name is Aria and I'm looking forward to uh, Halloween. My name is Owen and I'm looking forward to jumping into leaf piles. My name is Kenny and I'm looking forward to the first school dance. I'm Paul and I'm excited for Thanksgiving. My name is Will and I'm looking forward to the leaves falling off the trees. today will be hot diggity dog, veggie beans, pickles, carrot coins, sliced peaches, and milk. Mm-hmm. That lunch sounds yummy yummy. Now for the weather. Today, wind increasing throughout the day. There will be a few clouds from time to time. The high temperature. Today will be 58 degrees. Saturday, there'll be some clouds in the morning that will give way to mainly sunny skies. For the afternoon, the high temperature will be 68 degrees. And on Sunday, it'll be partly cloudy with high temperature of 69. This week, we have six weather photos. Our first photo was sent in by former Shark News member Elise Mitchell, who is now a freshman at Winnicunnet High School. We miss you, Elise. This is sunset over marsh. Next, we have two photos sent in by Eve Sumain. First, we have sunset over Hampton Harbor and also sunset over houses. We also have autumn equinox yoga sent in by Brandy Hardiman. And lastly, we have two photos sent in by Miss Strong. Last full day of summer at North Beach and kids enjoying their day off. Thank you, Elise, Eve, and Miss Hardiman and Miss Strong for sending those photos in. We sure do live in a beautiful place. There are no birthdays today or this weekend, so go out there and celebrate you. Our fact of the day is something for you to guess. During a thunderstorm, you can gauge how far away a lightning strike is from you by counting the seconds between the thunder and the lightning. How many seconds counted represent a mile between you and the lightning? Today is Education Technology Day. It celebrates and appreciates the, te the technology that helps students learn better and teachers teach better. Did you know that students who use devices for study achieve better? Yes, in the United States, students with more than 60 per week 
of device use achieved higher academic results? So let's learn about the history of educational technology and the benefits it brings to the learning process. Today is Bruce Springsteen's birthday. He is an American singer, songwriter, and musician. Our thought of the day comes from Bruce Springsteen. He once said, when it comes to luck, you make your own. What is worse than finding a worm in your apple? I don't know. What is it? Finding a half worm. <laughs> Our answer to the fact of the day is this. Since light travels faster than sound, you can use thunder to gauge the distance of a lightning strike. You merely count the number of seconds between the moment you see the flash of lightning and hear the clap of thunder. Once you see lightning start, lightning start counting seconds. For every five seconds you go by before you hear the clap of thunder, that's one mile. Remember, before you speak, text, chat, or post, ask yourself, is, is it, it kind? Is it true? And, and is, is it necessary? necessary? And remember the Academy way. Manage yourself. Act responsibly. Respect yourself and others. Go out there and make it a great day. Woo!